Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at the, the the question, the general question, is a function even odd or neither? And I want to look at an example of each case so we know what to look for when we have uh, a question like this. So we know how to properly ap apply the test for each situation. So the general test remember, if, is if we have a function f of x and if we then replace the x with a opposite of x. And I know it's tempting to say negative x, but we want to think of it as opposite of x. So if given some function, we put an opposite of x in its place. And as a result, we have three possibilities. The first is that after you replace it with opposite of x, and you keep evaluating, simplifying, you end up with the exact same problem or function that you started with. The other situation is after replacing with opposite of x, evaluating and simplifying, we end up with the exact opposite of the original function. So in other words, if you were to take a negative 1 and multiply times the original function, you would get the, same, you would get the result. And the third result is that you don't get either one of these. It's neither the original nor is it the opposite of the original. And of course, that's the neither case. Let's look at each one. So given this example, f of x equals negative one-half x to the fourth plus three x squared. So I want to test if it's even, odd, or neither. So I, I say I'm going to replace this with the opposite of x. So I'm going to see what, what happens. So negative one-half now times opposite of x to the fourth plus 3 times opposite of x to the second. Now, as I simplify, x opposite of x to the fourth, having that, you can think of it as a negative 1 in front, taking that to an even power, is going to make that a positive value again, or just x to the fourth. Same thing with opposite of x squared. It's just like saying negative 3 squared becomes a positive 9. So this becomes a x to the second power without the negative. Now I can't add anything else. I can't uh, add my x to the fourth and x to the second. So I'm done. Now I want to compare that to the original function. And this is the exact same thing as the original. So this is f of x. Which means, since that matches the original f of x, this is an even function. I don't need to test anything else. Just know that that is an even function. Let's check out another example. So now I have g of x is equal to x to the third minus 4x plus 6. And I want to test if it's even, odd, or neither. So I will replace my x with a opposite of x, which means I'll do it everywhere else. So opposite of x to the third, minus four times opposite of x, plus six. Now I want to simplify. So taking opposite of x to the third is very much like taking negative two to the third, for example. Negative two to the third ends up being a negative eight. Negative times negative times negative ends up being a negative value overall. And the same is going to happen here. We're saying negative x, or actually opposite of x, times opposite of x, times opposite of x. The overall value of that will be opposite, or in this case, negative. So this, I now have the opposite of x to the third. Now here, negative 4 times negative x gives me a positive 4x, and 6 is still 6. So I can't add anything else, so this is my new function. Now I want to compare that to the original. So when I look at this, this is not the same as the original. The original had a negative 4x, this one has a positive 4x. The first term was positive and this first term is negative. So it's not even. Let's see if it's odd. The simplest way to check if it's odd is let's find out what is opposite of 
g of x. Which means I'll take the original g of x, which was x to the third, minus 4x, plus 6, and I will multiply that by negative 1. means I'll distribute a negative 1 to everything there, which would leave me with a minus x to the third, a positive 4x, and a negative 6. Now it's close, negative x to the thirds, positive 4x's, but in the function I evaluated here, the end result, or the last term is positive, here the last term is negative. So since this does not <clears throat> equal the original function. It does not equal the negation of the original function. This is neither. There's nothing in particular special about this function. Let's take a look at this one. So h of x equals x to the fifth plus x to the third minus, x, minus 8x. So to test if it's even, odd, or neither I replace my x with the opposite of x, and the same in the rest of the function. And I evaluate. Now very similar to the previous two, when I take a negative to an odd power, the overall value is negative. So this will ultimately leave me with a negative or opposite of x to the fifth. Same thing here. A negative x to the third to an odd power leaves me with a negative or opposite x to the third. Or minus x to the third, you can think, think of it as. <clears throat> and my last term, negative 8 times negative x gives me, or opposite of x, excuse me, equals a positive 8x. I can't combine any more terms, so this is my function. Now let me compare it to the original. Now it's obviously not the same as the original, so let's check to be sure that it's not the opposite. In other words, I'm going to say what is opposite of h of x, which means my original h of x function, and I will multiply that times negative 1, meaning I will distribute it to all three terms. It will leave me with a opposite x to the fifth, opposite x to the third, or negative x, negative one x to the third, and a positive eight x. And when I compare this to my function here, negative x to the fifth, negative x to the third, positive eight x, so they are, in other words, my h of opposite of x is the same as the negation of h of x, in that case, this is an odd function. And that is our criteria. Whenever you test for even, odd, or neither, you put in your opposite of x, evaluate, and then you compare. Is it the same as the original? That's even. Is it the opposite of the original? That's odd. If it's not one of those, then it's neither.